Okay, so we've talked about uh, why people become bullies. We've talked about why people become targets. I want you to tell me what in the world you can do to get bullying to stop. What have you done that you have found helps the situation? Who can tell me? Rita, what can you do? Um, in our old school in China, we have some people's bullying now stop, but I tell to the bully, if you don't stop, you're going to be in principal's office. <laughs> If, if you don't stop, you're going to? You're going to be in principal's office because our principals have a rule, no bullying. Yes. And they just, be the teacher's not there, they just bullying somebody, and yes. I see it through the window. And now he's stopping. <laughs> so one of the things that you can do to get the bullying to stop is to tell the person, if you don't stop, um, I'm going to tell the principal. That is very good. Tyler, what can you do to get bullying to um, stop. You could ignore them. Ignore. Okay. Now, let me ask you this question. Um, so first of all, we talked about, oh, this is the one that doesn't work. Uh, we talked about telling an adult. Then we talked about, now we're talking about ignoring. Let me ask you this question. How many of you in this room have ever ignored a bully and it worked? Please raise your hand. How many of you in this room have ever ignored a bully and it didn't work? Please raise your hand. Okay, so sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So if you try something and it doesn't work, then you have to try something else. Do not give up. What else can you do? Mark. Um, I have a few things. One about tell an adult. Yes. If you wait to tell him and tell him if he don't stop on tell an adult, you will he'll probably start picking on you too. And about annoy, annoying, um, maybe the bully will stop when you don't care about it anymore. And um, the last thing is, um, I forgot what I was going to say now. If you remember, raise your hand. I will call on you immediately. Okay, we're going to ask Dawson. What can you do to get bullying to stop? Well, um, you should just try to make friends with them, like invite them over to have dinner or something like that. Wouldn't that be wonderful? What if here is this bully, and what if you decided to make a buddy out of the bully? because you realized that he was lonely, that he needed attention, or she was having problems at home. That would be a wonderful thing to do. Who else has some suggestions about what you can do? Kane. Um, maybe stand up to him and show him that you're not scared of him. OK, so uh, standing up to a bully. So Dawson was saying you could include a bully in your circle of friends. And Kane is saying, stand up. And you know, this seems to be really important, that when you stand up to a bully, um, they tend to back off. A lot of bullies act really tough on the outside, but inside, it's kind of like, you remember the Wizard of Oz? How many of you know the Wizard of Oz? You know, this big, strong voice, and everybody thought this wizard was so powerful. And then you pull back the curtain, and there was this little man in a microphone. So um, a lot of times, bullies um, really need some support. OK, now I want to talk to you. Yes, Mark? Um, maybe if you're the bully's best friend, you could tell him this is not why you got to stop. OK, so if you're a friend of the bully and you could talk to the bully, let me give you uh, uh, some other suggestions that I've learned. What if somebody says to me, Suellen, your hair is so ugly. Uh, well, one thing I could do is I could say, well, my hair may be ugly, but it's not nearly as ugly as your face. <laughs> and now I have become a bully, and you laughed at me, so you gave me attention, so we have to try that one again. Okay. Well, my hair may be ugly, but it's not nearly as ugly as your face. Yes! Good. See, that's what not being an audience for the bully is about. Okay, so what if somebody says to me, Sue Ellen, your hair is so ugly. <clears throat> and what if I said to that person, oh my gosh, if I just had hair like you, whew, you have got such great looking hair, I would give anything to have your hair. So just turn it around and give a compliment to the bully. 
What if somebody said to me, <clears throat> Sue Ellen, your hair is so ugly. And what if I could make a joke out of it? Now, I don't have a good joke. I'm going to tell you a bad joke, because I need some of you to come up with a good joke. What if I said, well, this hairdo looks really terrific on my dog. Not funny. What's a zinger? What's a funny line? Well, tell you. this isn't really funny funny, but like if they say that, you could just tell them thank you. There you go. No matter what anybody says to you, just say, thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're going to have to go on because I want to talk to you about the difference between the way girls and boys boys. Now, I'm going to tell you what I've learned, and what I need you to do is if you agree with what I'm saying, I want you to nod your head up and down like this. And if you disagree, go like this so I can get some feedback. And what did you want to say, Mark? Um, I just saw that sign that said, be somebody you would be proud of. If yes. somebody says your hair looks really ugly, you could just say, I don't care if my hair looks ugly. I'm proud to be me. I am proud to be me. That would be a wonderful response. A wonderful response. Say, what and did you say? When Mark was talking about if you're not good at dodgeball, <coughs> hey, that's, that's me. I'm not really good at throwing, but the good thing I am good at is dodging. There you go. So coming back with answers and standing up for yourself. Dawson? Um, maybe at recess if you're like playing basketball and you're not that good. Um, you always have like your own way. Like you could be like really, really smart, but not that athletic. Right. So we all can be good at something. We're all not good at everything. Oh, your answers are wonderful.